I define myself as a mobile researcher, so as a matter of fact, I've been working in a lot of institutions. I just moved in Berlin. It's a series of moving around for 25 years in five different countries, seven different cities, and 10 different uh, labs. And here I'm very happy because I find my old slides when I was a PhD student at the Pasteur Institute. <laughs> okay. And this has been very, um, very rewarding for me personally to develop my personality as a scientist because I got to, to have to deal with uh, different types of, of of cultures, different ways of working, and also the idea that nothing is impossible. Most urgently. Yeah. So how, how many clones did you, did you check? I checked hundreds of clones, but... Actually, I have started with bacterial genetics very early on, but with always a hope uh, that uh, one day I may find something, a mechanism that could be useful either for therapeutic purposes or for technology purposes. So the major discovery is CRISPR-Cas9, and this is a very interesting uh, finding about uh, a mechanism that allows bacteria to defend themselves against their own viruses. And they are using uh, specific enzymes that uh, cleave uh, the DNA of the invading virus. And this mechanism has been harnessed as a very powerful uh, genetic tool that uh, allows to modify the genome of uh, large types of, of cells and organisms, including human cells. Actually, the, the, the technology really works as a, as a Swiss army knife. So cutting uh, genes, pasting uh, new fragments of DNA on the genome, uh, correcting some mutations, uh, changing the expression of genes. So it's uh, extremely powerful and versatile. We added, right? You remember yeah. when you discussed the last the, time? How the regulation... So the reason why this tool has been uh, used uh, very fast uh, uh, by the scientific community, it's really the facility to design CRISPR-Cas9. And it's also the fact that it's uh, cheap to use. The long-term application uh, will be to really use directly uh, the technology uh, in, in the patient. That consists to, to really collect the cells of the patient uh, that uh, will be sick and to correct uh, a mutation and re-implant uh, the healthy cells into the patient.